Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel. This is Deep and today I am going to explain the folder structure of our Nux.js admin templates. In this video, I will explain the folder structure using our material Nux.js admin template. But please keep in mind that the folder structure is same for all our Nux.js admin templates. So without any delay, let's head to the VS Code and take a look at our folder structure. As you can see, I have opened material Nux.js admin template in our VS Code. And on the left hand side, you can see the folder structure of our material Nux.js admin template. As you can see, our first directory is .vs code. This directory is used to maintain VS code settings and configurations. Going inside this directory, you can see we have created some code snippets for our admin template. For example, this is our template code snippet. Whenever you will use this code snippet, it will create a template block in your view file. Like this, we have created so many code snippets in our admin template. Please feel free to explore all the code snippet and use them accordingly in your project. Apart from code snippet, it also contains extensions.json. This file contains recommended VS Code extensions for our admin template. And our last file is settings.json. It contains settings related to the VS Code. Our next directory is at the red core. Moving inside, we have the first directory components. But before moving to this directory, it is important to note that we also have the components directory inside our root. This directory contains the components and these components are customizable as per your requirement. You can also add or remove the components from this directory. Moving back to our components directory inside the red core, this directory contains the components that are of generic type. It means these components aren't going to be changed in terms of functionality or UI. Still, if you want to overwrite or customize this component, please copy this component and paste it inside our roots components directory. Here, here you can customize the components as per your requirement. The next directory is composable. Same as the components, we also have the composables directory inside our root. This directory contains composables. You can customize these composables as per your requirement. You can also add or remove composables inside this directory. Let's move back to composable directory inside our at the red code. This directory contains composables and these composables are of generic type. You don't need to modify these composables. Please feel free to explore all these composables and use them accordingly in your project. Whenever you want to run the template, you need to fire the command pnpm run dev. This will generate a .nuxt directory in our folder structure. This directory is generated by nuxt and it is used for development purpose. Our next directory is libs. This directory contains third party library configurations. Inside this, you will find two subdirectories, apex chart and charges. First of all, let's focus on apex chart directory. This directory contains a file apex chart config.ts. This file contains functions for different type of charts and each function returns apex chart configs for specific chart type. For example, this is our function get bar chart config. This function will return apex chart config for a bar chart. So whenever you want to make a bar chart using apex chart, just import this function and you will have the configs ready. We have created such functions for all type of charts. So you don't need to rewrite the configs each time, just import the right function for an apex chart type. We have also implemented the same for charts. Please feel free to explore its directory for more details. Our next directory is SCSS. In this directory, we have SCSS style files for our admin template. Inside this, you will find two subdirectories, base and template. Base directory contains a base style for our admin template. And the template directory contains styles for our admin template. We also override the base styles in this directory. Our next directory is stores. This directory contains a PNS store for theme configs. Please note that we store initial theme config in our theme config.ts file. But if you want to update this config on a runtime, please use this store. If you are interested to learn more about how we can update theme config on a runtime, please check out our customizer component. You will find the implementation for the same in that file. Our next directory is utils. Like components and composables, we also have the utils directory inside our root. In this directory, we have defined utilities for our admin template. You can customize these utilities as per your requirement. You can also add or remove utilities from this directory. Going back to our utils directory inside at the red core, this directory contains generic utils. So you don't need to modify them. Please feel free to explore all these utilities and use them in your project. By this, we have completed at the red core directory. The next directory is at the red layouts. It's a view plugin for layouts. Let's go inside this directory. The first directory inside at the red layouts is components. This directory contains unstyled components for layouts. The next directory is plugins. This directory contains plugins for our layouts. Inside this, you can find a castle.ts plugin file. We use this plugin for access control on our layout components to check if user have access to view specific layout component or not. 
मूविंग नेक्स्ट अवर नेक्स्ट डिरेक्टरी इज स्टोर दिस डिरेक्टरी कंटेंट द पिनिया स्टोर फॉर अवर ले आउट कन्फिक्स इफ यू वॉन्ट टू अपडेट द ले आउट कन्फिक्स ऑन रन टाइम वी यूज दिस स्टोर फॉर मैनेजिंग अवर ले आउट कन्फिक्स द नेक्स्ट डिरेक्टरी इज स्टाइल्स दिस डिरेक्टरी कंटेंट द बेसिक स्टाइल फॉर अवर ले आउट और नेक्स्ट डिरेक्टरी इज एप दिस डिरेक्टरी इज फ्रॉम नक्स एप इन साइड दिस डिरेक्टरी वी हैव राउटर डॉट ऑप्शन डॉट टी एस फाइल एंड इट कंटेंट्स एडिशनल राउटर कन्फिग्रेशन मूविंग फॉरवर्ड वी हैव नेक्स्ट डिरेक्टरी एसेट्स दिस डिरेक्टरी कंटेंट्स एसेट्स फॉर अवर एडमिन टेम्पलेट इन साइड दिस यू विल फाइंड टू सब डिरेक्टरीज इमेजेस एंड स्टाइल्स इमेजेस डिरेक्टरी होल्ड्स ऑल इमेजेस फॉर अवर एडमिन टेम्पलेट द स्टाइल डिरेक्टरी इज यूज फॉर एवर राइडिंग टेम्पलेट स्टाइल्स इन साइड स्टाइल्स यू विल फाइंड वेरिएबल सब डिरेक्टरी यूज फॉर अपडेटिंग वेरिएबल्स विद इन दिस सब डिरेक्टरी देर आर टू फाइल्स वेरिएबल्स डॉट एस सी एस एस एंड टेम्पलेट डॉट एस सी एस एस विद इन दिस सब डिरेक्टरी देर आर टू फाइल्स वीटीफाइ डॉट एस सी एस एस एंड टेम्पलेट डॉट एस सी एस एस यूज वीटीफाइ डॉट एस सी एस एस इफ यू वॉन्ट टू ओवर राइट टेम्पलेट वेरिएबल्स अदरवाइज यूज टेम्पलेट डॉट एस सी एस एस इफ यू वॉन्ट टू राइट कस्टम स्टाइल्स देन प्लीज यूज स्टाइल्स डॉट एस सी एस एस फाइल वी हैव ऑलरेडी कवर दिस टू डिरेक्टरीज कंपोनेट्स एंड कंपोजेबल्स बिफोर इन दिस वीडियो Our next directory is layouts. This directory defines the layout for our admin template. Inside this directory, you can find a sub directory components. This directory contains components for our layouts. Apart from this directory, you can find two files: blank dot view and default dot view. These two files are for our two different type of layouts. Blank dot view is for blank layout, and default dot view is for our default layout. Moving forward, we have next directory middleware. This directory is also from Nux side, and it contains middlewares for our Nux tab. Inside this, we have defined a global middleware, SQL dot global dot TS. It checks if user has access to the page he is trying to access. If not, it will redirect to not authorized page. Otherwise, it will let you access the page. Our next directory is navigation. This directory contains the menu items for our admin template. Inside this directory, we have two sub directories: horizontal and vertical. Horizontal directory contains the menu items for horizontal menu, and vertical directory contains menu items for vertical menu. Our next directory is pages. This directory is from Nux side. This directory contains all the pages of our admin template. Moving forward, our next directory is plugins. This directory contains all the plugins for our admin template. Moving inside this, we can see the all the plugins that we use in our admin template. Our first plugin is Casa. We use this plugin for access control in our admin template. The next plugin is Iitna. We use this plugin for internationalization in our admin template. The next plugin is Iconify. We use this plugin for generating icons in our admin template. The next plugin is Vitify. Vitify is our component library, and we register Vitify as plugin in our admin template. Apart from these folders, we also have some plugin files, and that are layouts.ts. We register layouts as a plugin in our admin template. And our last plugin file is webfontloader.client.ts. It is used for managing fonts in our admin template. Moving forward, the next directory is public. This directory is used to serve static assets for our template. Our next directory is server. In Nuxt, server directory is used to register API endpoints and server handlers. Moving inside this directory, you can find the first directory is API. Inside this directory, we have defined all the API endpoints that we use across our admin template. Our next directory is FakeDB. This directory contains all the fake data that we use to display in our admin template. The next directory is plugins. This directory contains plugins for our server. Inside this directory, you can see the file vitify.fix.ts. When we try to use vitify with Noxt, it gives some unwanted console errors. To fix those errors, we are using this plugin. The next directory is utils. This directory has server-related utilities. Please feel free to explore these utilities. If you want to add new utils for server, then please add it inside this directory. We already have covered utils directory before in this video. And the last directory is views. In this directory, we have all the components for our pages. Apart from this, we also have other files in our folder structure. But we will take a look at some important files. Our first important file is .editor config. In this file, we define config for our editor. The next important file is .eslint.rc.cjs. In this file, we define eslint rule for our admin template. The next important file is app.view. It is the main view file of our admin template. The next component is error.view. It is the error component of our admin template. The next file is nux.config.ts. In this file, we define config for our Nuxt. The last and important file is themeconfig.ts. In this file, we define our initial theme configurations. By this, we have completed the folder structure of our material Nuxt.js admin template. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time.